This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at MiniatureMarket.com. The Kingdom of East Anglia saw the birth of their greatest son, an Anglo-Saxon warrior destined to be a champion for the ages and a national treasure for all time. Today, we are going to be looking at Blitzkrieg. Now, this is a game that was on my list for games I wanted to play from Essen. And yeah, look at that. We've got all kinds of things going on. And Tina and I are going to battle it out. We're gonna show you how it works. Tina will explain it, of course, because I'm a bumbling idiot. But we are definitely going to be covering Blitzkrieg today. So without further ado, let's check it out. So in Blitzkrieg, you are playing the World War II in 20 minutes. One player will play the Axis powers, and the one player will play the Ally powers. And what you're trying to do here is you're fighting the conflict in the various regions of where the conflict happens. Um, what you see on the board are the various regions, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Africa, Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Pacific Ocean. And on each of them, there is a track signifying the the powers on each side okay and then there's all these spaces where you're going to place different tokens to activate powers and to get points so let's run through the the turn order first um, the players will alternate in taking turns and on your turn you're gonna have a reserve at the beginning of the game you're gonna have three of them out like this so it's drawn from this yeah. pack of tokens okay um, you can have three and you're gonna pick one and place it on one of these spaces okay so these are your unit tokens they go on the board it will trigger some effect okay uh, on the board which is printed on here and you will also move the marker here based on what number that says so in this case it would move it this way one okay gray side mm -hmm because this is a gray, gray token. Uh, so then, once you're done, you draw another token from your bag to refill your reserve. So you'll always have to have three to choose from, and th that's the, t the end of your turn, the next person goes. So what are these tokens? So we run through the tokens here. We have at the top the armies, and they have their different values, but they all do the same thing, which is, it can be placed on the land battle spaces. Um, the land battle spaces are the ones that are in brown, okay? So it can be placed on this, but it cannot be placed on, say, the, the water. water. Exactly, because tanks can't go into water. So it can be placed here, for example. Next, we have the navies. So same thing, um, but opposite. Can be placed on water, but cannot be placed on land. These spaces where the colors mix, you can place anything. And finally, we have the planes. The planes can be placed on any of them. So land, water, and the um, combination. So once again, you do that, and then you advance the spaces, and you also trigger the action, the effect that is below it. Next, we have this lightning symbol, which is the Blitz Air Force. These can be placed on any of the battle spaces. Uh, and once you do that, you get to take another token from your reserve and place it. So you get to place two tokens on your turn instead of one. Oh. We have the generals. There's two of them. One, oh, this is the general. This is the admiral, actually. Yeah. So the general is considered an army. You get to advance one space on the battle track for every number of tokens um, that corresponds to that type. So for example here, if I place it here, there's, there's, I have four of these, so mm -hmm. it gets to advance four spaces. So one space on the battle track for each army and air force actually. Yeah, so it's the color. This doesn't count. Army and right. air force. This is the movie. Yeah. Yeah. You also include the general, so it's one plus, right? So 
One. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. And then Admiral is the same thing but with ships. So then in this case it would just be one, two. Yeah. yeah. Those are all the tokens of various numbers and distributions in your bag that you have available. And let's talk about what the spaces do now because you will have to consider where to put them and what bonuses they activate. So this one is called the industrial production. When you place it down, this one, mm -hmm. you get to draw one unit token from your bag and add it to your reserve. So now you have oh, one reserve. more the, than normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is bombing. When you place it down, you get to discard one random unit from your opponent's reserve into, into their bag. Oh, so you force them to so discard. So you force them to discard. Right, so now they have less to work off of. Uh, if you place it down on the gears, which is called research, you get to draw a random token from this that corresponding right symbol, yeah. which are more powerful um, special cases tokens that lets you do a variety of things, and we can talk about them when we trigger yeah. them. Yeah. If you go on the plus two, that is called a tactical advantage, which means you very simply move two spaces. Um, plus the one that you put there. Plus the, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You move the number of spaces towards you for the, the region that you place it on. Mm -hmm. uh, this is plus three, but you get to, you see the little arrow? arrow yeah. Yeah. So this is called strategic, which means when you place it down, um, instead of having to move on this track, you can move on any track. Oh, nice. Yeah. This one is propaganda, which is basically advancing number this number of spaces on the war victory track, okay. which is this master track up here. Uh, game end will, will trigger if um, the 25 is hit, so the red spot. Okay. This one, where's the improve industrial? This one, the two. Mm -hmm. So we talked about industrial, which is you get to draw an extra token from your bag and right. add it to your reserve. The improve one gets to draw two instead of just one. Okay. So then we have the research industry, which looks like this one. Okay. So it's the research action. And then you so you draw one random one from this pile, and then you get to immediately add it to your reserve. Okay. Which is different from, uh, say, this one, which is draw two from this pile. Mm -hmm. The ones that you draw from here, they go into your bag. Oh, okay. The ones when it, whenever it's the um, factory symbol, it goes into your reserve. Okay. Seems easy enough, right? Yeah. So let's talk. Um, one more thing that's important is, you see how there's a yeah. victory points here? Yes. So the way it works is when you place it down, you can place on any space. It doesn't have to be left to right or anything like that, okay. right? So when all the spaces for that particular campaign, which is considered the role, is complete. So let's say we do that. Okay. Um, then that person That will campaign get... closes. Mm-hmm. And you check whose side the battle track, the battle marker is on. So let's say it's on my side. Of course. That player, that player, the winning side, get to advance the victory track Three by points. this point. Yeah. And if they are beyond these uh, trigger points, they, they also those? score those. Wow. Right, so in this case, I get this plus that, four points. But I'm here, then I get- Five. Um, five, correct. And then it's a race to see who can get to 25 victory points the fastest. 25? Uh, actually, so, the, so the, the other thing that's interesting is if you close the, 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 the theater. Oh, so if you go all the way to the end, yeah, right? This whole th region is done. Okay. Okay. So what happens is you, this this winner immediately carries out all the effects that are not filled out in any order they choose. Oh wow! It's very powerful, and you score the war victory points for shown both on 
next to each campaign you've closed that way. Wow. So you would score that. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna give this a go. I'm gonna pop in and out of our game, and then at the very end, we'll let you know what we think of Blitzkrieg. Okay, we've already done our first turn, but I wanted to kind of show you what happened here. I put a tank here, which gave me a plus one, so in Eastern Europe, I have the advantage already. But Tina decided to play her tank in Western Europe. Now, what that did was give her one of these tokens where she is oh, going to put... Look. No, I'm not... Okay, I'm not looking. I got one of these guys. I'm turning my head. Who is... Uh, allows Dressing. me to do this very powerful action. Uh -huh. All right. But she has to Back put that to in her bag, right? Right, it goes into my bag. Okay. So at some okay, point in the future, my head around. it might come out. Okay, so now I'm going to take my turn. And what I'm going to do is I'm very interested in Southeast Asia. So I'm going to put my carrier here. I mean, my uh, my battleship here, which is going to give me one, two, but also two give me two points. victory points right out of the gate. So the Blitzkrieg has started. Now it is Tina's turn. Now I draw another token from the bag and I put it down and that's what I have to work with right here. So it's going to give me some advantages here. You should track your four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's what I, I'm at four. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Very interesting game, I must say, already, because you are kind of trying to figure out what the best way to go is, but you don't want your opponent to get too strong because then you've got issues. Now, Tina's trying to figure it out. And remember, you also have to try to win each one of these because those are also going to give you advantages and points as you close out those sections. Right. All right. So here I am going to... She's thinking really hard. I will go... Go ahead. Play yeah, maybe... Yeah, I, I knew you were going to do something like that. One, two, two. So and then gonna... I, I get to draw Which... a token from my bag and add it to my reserve. Now, so that means you have four. You you get four tokens, right? Or uh, just you one? You mean that little victory? No, 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 no. That's going to give you... One of these. Not, not right now. Not right now? It's when this closes. Oh, so that's what, depending yeah. on what you get. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I get to draw something from my bag as a result of this action. Yeah. But also. And I end my turn, which And you end your turn and you draw I one. So now so you I have, have four. four in there. All right. <gasps> wow. So I'm going to go here and try to, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Pacific Ocean, and I'm going to... Not only do I get two here, but because I played it on the bombing oh, thing, no. I get to randomly take something from her hand. Okay. Uh, and it is gone from the game. It's gone uh, back into my bag, actually. Ah, uh, oh, it was just a ship, so... It was yes. nothing, nothing important. All right, we'll be back towards the end of the game as this progresses, but you, I think you start to get the feel of this now. Okay, there's one important rule that we forgot to tell you. So go ahead, Tina. So in each of these campaigns, there are actually, uh, there's actually, you can see each role is each campaign, but the role that you can play on, the active campaign, so to speak, is the one that is on the top and not completed. In this case, this is still an active complaint. If somehow, next turn Rob closes it by placing one of his tokens, then this becomes the active campaign. Right. And when this is done, it closes the entire region, or if he goes to the last space, it closes the entire region. Mm -hmm. So we have to go top down. Yep. So you have, to, you have to fill everything in first and establish victory points in that way before you can work your way to the lower sections of these campaigns. All right. There. We wanted to clarify that and make sure you guys understood it. So this game is very tight. You could see how everything kind of works here. We're, we're placing these tokens and, and, and the, the pendulum is swinging. I'm barely winning right now, but she does have some advantages coming into this. Okay, I'm playing so a plane she's in gonna Southeast play a plane. Asia. Yeah. It bombs. Yeah, so you're gonna have to pick token a from rocks. random token. Go ahead, pull it out. A bomb. <gasps> Yeah, so... Your Navy ship. That goes back in my thing. And I get to move this guy back this way. What? So in the, yeah, so it's pretty much even over there. 
So now it's my go. And you have only one token. Yeah, I do. But I do have something that I can do here. And that's, I'm going to play, oh no, I can't play that there. Oh boy. That's tough. Um, do you have something up your sleeve? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to play this here. It's a one. Yep. So that's going to move at one. And then you get to place, I get, move two on any theater operations. So any region. So any region I want to move. Boy, this is uh, kind of tough here. But I think I can one, two. I'm going to move that right there. And then I'm going to draw out of my bag one token. So I, I, I need to get some advantages here. But uh, I think I just got the advantage right there. And I'll show you guys. Well, you'll see how it all plays out. So this game got real tight real quick. And... It is her move. She has 24 victory points. I have 21. I have one. No, no, no. Is this, this is me? Yeah. Oh, I just need to cross the line. Yeah, you just need to cross the line. It's very simple. So at game end, uh, the victory condition is if the Axis player reaches 25 victory points, the Allied player gets another turn. Yeah. And then whoever has the most victory points is a winner. But if the Allied player first reaches 25 victory points, they, they win. Immediately win. Okay, so now all you gotta do is just place Cross your the token. Line. Cross Should the line. Should I use the more powerful token? Oh, the just, weaker? just go. <laughs> just go. Warship! Yeah, she puts her warship there. That's gonna give her a bunch of victory points. Three for closing mm -hmm. this line, and yeah, that's it. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Rawr! Run through the, the finishing line. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll be back with our thoughts on Blitzkrieg, as Tina, once again, is victorious. Oops. All right, we just got through playing Blitzkrieg. Tina, what did you think? Um, so it's actually a really tight game. You think that you're leading, but mm -hmm. things can turn the tide pretty quickly. So what's interesting to me is, what was important to me is, there's this bombing action, which, uh, allows you to randomly select one of the opponent's mm -hmm. tiles and take it out from the hand and put it back in the bag. And that actually is more powerful than I thought because you were down to one tile at the end. Yeah, Every I, turn, you have one tile. I was waiting for you to bomb me and, and actually take two turns in a row. Oh, really? Yeah, because I thought, see, I thought you were gonna come here, bomb me, take that token away. Right. I wouldn't have been able to go. I would have had a draw. And right. then you could have gone again. So the the turn before I won, mm -hmm. Rob actually only had one token in his hand, mm -hmm. is in reserve, which is the ship token. And he knew he wanted to stop me here because if I closed this on my turn, I get like three points and I immediately win. But, but you had, yeah, because you had so much of an advantage, it would have been a tie and we both would have got victory points and I would have lost the game no matter right. what. And he was restricted in what else he could do because this is a sea, yeah, it was a, sea uh, vessel. a water vessel. If I had more, if I had more resources, mm -hmm. which, which, more is, which plays pretty much just like the True War, that they ran out of resources. Right. So it, it, this is a fantastic game. It has a nice feel to it. It's it's good. I like it. Uh, they have solo rules for this. I actually, yeah. Um, I recommend this highly. How about you? Absolutely. And the solo mode is by David Turchi. Yeah. Tur I can't say his name. Yeah, we can't say his name. Who is a master of solo rules designing. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm definitely going to check this out. Solo, uh, two players, awesome. If they have this, I'm definitely picking it up. There you go. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. Right, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, Until that's what you're supposed to say. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. With Tina. We shall see you next time. See you soon. See you soon. It's the end of the game, and you could get this from Miniature Market, right, Grandpa? <laughs> you could get this from Miniature Market. That's right. Yeah, everything you need. Bye.